Hello, today I'll be going over my thoughts on Kepler's final lineup. To be honest, the lineup wasn't a huge surprise to me, and although only 6 out of the 9 members were my picks, I'm quite happy with who made the team and very excited to see what they'll do. So let's get started. I'll go in the reverse ranking order from the final episode, so first up we have Shen Xiaoting. She was one of my picks and I definitely think that she deserved to debut. At the same time, I was a little disappointed that she was the only C group member on the team. I was worried that she'd struggle being the only Chinese member, but I've since learned that Baiya speaks Chinese due to having lived in the country, so I'm hoping that Xiaoting won't feel as isolated and will be able to learn Korean quickly. It's kind of crazy to me that Mnet lost their biggest ship. I didn't think ships were a big part of Girls Planet, but Xiaorina was definitely a partnership that gained attention, and I think it's unfortunate that the two of them didn't get to debut together. More than just having a friend, I think it also would have been engaging for Kepler's fanbase. Xiaoting is often referred to as the perfect center, and I somewhat agree with that. I think that the slight language barrier and her vocal capabilities may prevent her from becoming a center. Obviously, the language hasn't stopped her before when choosing center positions in Girls Planet missions, and her vocals are solid in her mid-range, but I think she does get a bit unstable with higher notes. That being said, the center position isn't always reliant on high notes, and her dance skills and visuals are definitely a huge positive. She also seems to be a pretty good rapper, so her versatility is definitely strong, and I wonder what we'll see from her. I guess it all depends on the concept that Kepler ends up going with. In the 8th rank, we have Sakamoto Mashiro, who was also my pick. She was one of my favorites throughout the show. I think she's a strong candidate for the leader position due to the long time she spent training, as well as the fact that she's fluent in both Korean and Japanese. She's also very consistent, and like we saw in the finale, she's willing to sacrifice some of her own parts if it comes down to it. I think her leadership is solid and trustworthy. I also think she'd be helpful for Japanese members learning Korean. I mean, that would be better if there are more J members on the team, but I'm sure Mashiro will at least be a great help for Hikaru if she needs it. She showed a lot of sides during the show, cute in Dum Dee Dum Dee, elegant in Fiesta, and cool in Mapia in the morning, and so I can really see her excelling at any concept. Aside from a potential leader position, I think her versatility allows her to take up pretty much any role in the group. Next we have Hikaru. Hikaru was also one of my picks, and I honestly think this is a deserved spot on the debut team for her. One thing I think is interesting to note is that from the original country rankings in episode 1, we kept J groups number 1 and 2, and C groups number 1. But from K group, it's more scattered across the board. K groups number 2, Ye Young, didn't even make the finale. And there isn't much to that observation, I'm not trying to put down any of the groups C, K, or J. But it is interesting to me who Mnet pushed and who they didn't. I definitely think Hikaru will get a dance and rap position on the team. She's super talented in rapping and dancing. However, I'm curious about her vocal skills as we haven't gotten the chance to see a lot of that from her. In 6th place we have Kang Yesu. She wasn't one of my picks but I did have her as an alternate pick and I'm glad she gets a chance to debut again. Yesu was shown to be a good center in Fate and Utopia. I think one of her strongest points is her facial expressions, maybe from all her years spent acting. She also has a unique voice that I think will add a lot to making Kepler's concept stand out. Since her popularity was kind of up and down, I don't know if they'll choose her as the group center, but she'd fit the role if she had to. Honestly, I know the center was a big point of contention in the produce series and in groups like Eyes One. But since they didn't declare a center position for Kepler, I wonder if they might just not have a center? The members are all talented in their own ways, and I think they might benefit from having different members featured in different concepts or songs. I see Yeso as a pretty good pick for Amakne. Not that any of them can change their birthdays, of course, but she kind of fits that cute or sweet stereotype, and she balances that endearing factor with her amazing dance and facial expressions. Then we have So Youngin, who was also one of my picks. I see her as Girls Planet's all-rounder. She showed us everything, rap, dance, vocals, and even an energetic personality. I genuinely cannot think of a weakness for her, that's how good she is at everything. So I'm guessing that she will be able to take on any position in the group. 
I'm really excited to see her in her ID shows and reality shows and whatnot. Her energy is just so positive and vibrant and her sense of humor is great as well. Next we have Kim Dayeon. Dayeon got a bit of flack for Amnet giving her attention near the end of the show. I think she deserved her character arc, but I do think it maybe was a little bit too much. Still, I, I still think it was deserved. I'm curious about her vocals because they must be good for her to be first rank in K-Group, but she spent most of the show rapping and had fewer vocal parts. She was shown as a good leader near the end of the show, but I don't see the company making her the leader. In the case of her fellow members, she does happen to be younger and less experienced. To be fair, being a younger member hasn't stopped some groups from choosing a leader, so the possibility that definitely still exists for her. Next we have Choi Yujin sitting in third. Yujin wasn't my pick because I honestly really wanted to see a solo Yujin debut. After I saw her in Bubble Pop, I thought she'd fit a soloist vibe well. But nonetheless, I'm super happy for her. She's worked so hard and she'll bring so much to the group. I spoke about this at length more in my picks video. She deserves all her popularity for sure. But the truth is, not only is Yujin distinctly older than the rest of the group, she is also much more experienced than them. She is literally a senior artist or sunbae to such artists as TWICE, BLACKPINK, and NCT. Comparing to the rest of Kepler who haven't debuted, and even with Yesu who has debuted, it's a huge difference. And not a difference in terms of skills or talent or anything like that, but a difference in respect. I know Yujin is not going to try to be overbearing with the group. She's so sweet and kind and she's proven that on the show. But since seniority is a huge factor in respect in Asia especially, I think it may be uncomfortable for the other members, at least in the beginning, to be on the same team as someone who's debuted for so long. Another concern for me is that she might get too many responsibilities. We saw on Girls Planet that people expected a lot from her. The contestants were always surprised that she didn't get the number one ranking every week. I fear that her experience may pressure her to become the leader of the group or take on a bigger role even if she may not be comfortable with it. That being said, Yujin has proved her talent over and over again, and I'm happy she has another chance to show the world just how incredible she is. The second place ranking went to Hyuning Bahie, which I will admit was the most surprising ranking for me, but I'm happy for her nonetheless. I started watching the show because of her since I am a fan of TXT, but she wasn't one of my picks. It wasn't because I didn't like her, but because I would have preferred her to debut in different conditions. My ideal situation for her to debut would be in a group like ITZY, where four of the five members were already popular before debut due to their past experience on shows and other K-pop groups' content. I think a case where she wasn't competing against 98 other girls, and she had other popular members, would have led to much fewer negativity being thrown her way. That being said, I will be the first to say that I have no power or sway whatsoever in the K-pop industry, and I'm just a viewer. And since every girl joined this show with the hope to debut, I'm happy she got this opportunity. Although I started watching for her, I'm more and more worried about all the negativity she's getting. Even though she's constantly positive and sweet, she is still a child, and even if she wasn't a child, it's still going to weigh on her. I'm worried about her developing some sort of imposter syndrome because of all of it, and so I really hope the negativity dies down before Kepler's official debut. Bahia got next to no screen time, so we don't know much about her personality, but I'm excited to learn more about what she's like. I'm really hoping she gets more opportunities to prove why she deserves her spot on Kepler. Lastly, we have Kim Chaehyun, who was first place on Girls Planet. The first place rank wasn't confirmed as a center on the show, but I think it's almost guaranteed that she'll get the main vocal position. Still, she has been known to have tiny mistakes in her vocals. I think that was a product of stress, so I hope that as a main vocal she's not too pressured. It's a surprise to me that she ranked so high, but of course there are a lot of factors involved in the voting, and since she was one of my picks, I'm happy she made it here. I think she's underrated leader material. We saw many times that she's very kind and considerate and willing to bring up problems in a team in order to come up with a solution. That being said, I think they're more likely to choose a different leader as she might have enough to worry about as a potential main vocal. I think she'll be an amazing main vocal for the group, and I'm really excited to hear her voice on more songs. So those are my thoughts on Kepler's debut lineup. 
Thanks for watching and let me know what you think. See you next time. Bye.